Hello! Hi! Today we're going to be opening up our December USA Snacks box. This is a monthly subscription that sends different snack treats and candies from a different state of the United States every single month. We've only been doing this box for a few months. Well, now it's been a little while. We've been yeah. doing this box for a little while now and we really enjoy it. We do a lot of international snack boxes and we just think this is a really great compliment to all of them. We are from the United States. We live in New Jersey and we have not traveled a lot in our lives. Since we can't really travel that much right now specifically, this is really fun right now because it's like a little taste of the States. Well, that's kind of what they call it. This is the <laughs> biggest taste of the States. So this box usually contains a lot of snacks from like locally owned shops that you probably would never get your hands on or never even know about if you didn't live in that area. And then also some snacks that are like local favorites, like flavors that are popular in that area. So like sometimes it's fun to like see what huge brands are from like specific yeah. areas of the United States, like things that we do have available, but it's like cool to like learn a little bit more about them mm -hmm. because the box does contain two cards. One of them has a list of of all of the foods that are in the box and then the rest just has like little fun facts and trivia about the state and a lot of them like somehow relate to the food that we're trying and then there's usually like a story about one of the small shops that we get to try the snacks from. USA Snacks does offer three different size boxes. We're going to be opening up their biggest taste of the states, the biggest size box this month. We do have some videos of their smallest box, the red box. I will link the playlist for all of our unboxings of USA Snacks down below and a huge shout out to USA Snacks for upgrading us again this month to the biggest size box. I will link their website down below in the description if you're interested in signing up for them. Just check out their website for pricing information. We do really, really enjoy yeah. this one. And just keep in mind when you're signing up that the price might seem a little bit more expensive than some of the other subscription boxes that are on the market, but that's mostly just because most of these snacks are coming from smaller shops, which you can't get at discounted rates like gigantic big box snack companies that we usually encounter in the international food boxes. That's what the main difference is. I really enjoy learning about the small shops and I really think this is an awesome opportunity for them to get a little bit more exposure. And like I've said in other videos, I always end up going online and like researching those smaller brands and seeing if we can buy more of their stuff online because shopping small right now is probably more important than ever. And I know it's too late for like Christmas shopping at this point, but just in general, anytime that you're buying a gift for someone, I like to give food gifts and opening this box has definitely introduced me to a lot more shops that I'm going to be using for food gifts. Also this box makes a great food gift. Definitely too late for getting in time for Christmas but it's not too late to sign someone up for a subscription and then just like give them a card or something that says like hey you're gonna get a USA Snacks box in the mail or you're gonna get three months of USA Snacks box. This is a great one because the snacks in the USA Snacks box are flavors that people from America are probably already enjoying just in general. It's not as risky as like maybe international food boxes. If you're trying to give a gift to someone who's maybe a little bit pickier, they might enjoy the snacks from the USA Snacks box more than the international snacks. That's it. Let's get into this. First up, we have a caramel apple candy cane from Hammond's Candies in Denver, Colorado. This thing really looks handmade. Yeah, I've seen these candy canes before. They sell this brand in Target. They have them in like one of the Christmas aisles all in like different buckets. They have a ton of different flavors. I've always wanted to like buy them before, but I never have. It reminds me a lot of those lollipops you can get around Halloween time. That are like really sweet apple lollipops like covered in caramel. Oh yeah. But it's all hard candy. You're right. It's a great flavor. Yeah. I think we have enough experience with candy canes at this point to know that that is a very good quality candy cane. I don't think they're too expensive. You can get, like they're huge. Yeah, it's massive. It weighs like a pound. We like broke just a piece off the end, but like this is a gigantic candy cane. I think it's only a couple dollars or something. I think that makes a really cute stocking yeah. stuffer. I've always wanted to try them. I just never have. No idea they're from Colorado. Caramel apple. Yeah, you're right. That does taste like those caramel apple pops. Yeah, and it has a nice caramel flavor for being all like a hard candy. Yeah. Really good. And not like too sweet or sour, like it's just like the right amount of everything. It's the first candy cane we've had on this channel that I actually want more of. <laughs> if you haven't seen, we are posting 12 days of candy canes leading up to Christmas and we've tried a lot of not very great ones. And some pretty great ones, but mostly, <laughs> mostly not great. Not. Up next we have a cinnamon honey stinger waffle from Steamboat Springs, Colorado. This is another one that I've seen in stores before. It's a stroop waffle. Yeah, it basically is a stroop waffle. Very soft though. I guess the idea here is that it's a little healthier than like a normal shrewd waffle would be. And it's gluten free. 
I mean, honestly, the flavor is not bad and the texture is pretty close to the Stroop waffles that we've had. It's pretty dry feeling. I do like the cinnamon in there though. Normally the Stroop waffles that we've had are just caramel and that's it. Yeah. I do like the warmth from the cinnamon. Yeah, that part's nice. Also from Hammond's, we have a handmade cherry lollipop. Ooh, this smells good. It does really smell good and I don't even like cherry flavored things. Again, it looks super handmade. Yeah. Like it has a very homemade look to it. Yeah, it really does. It does look really nice. This is gonna sound bad, but it tastes just like a Luden's. Get out, I was thinking the same thing. For those who don't know, Luden's cough drops are cherry flavored cough drops, but they're candy. They taste great. Yeah, this tastes really good. It's a really, really sweet, not medicinal flavor at no. all. No, I'm noticing that whatever's inside, like it's obviously like a tube of hard candy, whatever the inside is, is a little more sweet and tart than the outside. Hmm, maybe that's where the flavor is coming from. Yeah, like it's a really colorful outside really shiny and like almost see-through. And then the inside is like more dull, but I think that's where all the flavor is. I always liked lollipops like that when I was younger, like the big ones or like the twisted ones, you like get them on the boardwalk or yeah. whatever. I always really liked that. I would like something like this in like my stocking or something. I bet they sell these at Target too. I've just never paid attention to it. Yeah. So we do have a story about Hammond's. It says that in 1913, Carl T. Hammond came home from his first day of high school and announced he doesn't need any more education. His mother said, fine, but get a job. He did as an apprentice at a candy factory. In 1920, after World War I, he started Hammond's Candy Company. It started as a small family business and quality is their top priority. All treats are handmade. In 2007, Andrew Schumann purchased Hammond's. Hammond's has grown with international distribution. And it definitely still seems like they're doing everything handmade. Yeah, it's definitely good quality stuff. I mean, hard candy like that isn't something that I ever really like look for, but when I have it, it's never like that great. Yeah. So it's nice to know that like there is a great version of it. Yeah. Speaking of great hard candies, also from Hammond's, we have root beer drops. Well, we hope it's a great hard candy. We're just assuming at this point. Oh, I love root beer. These don't look like how I thought they were gonna look. They're vaguely barrel shaped. Well, they're mostly barrel shaped, but it's the color. Yeah. So it says that it's multi smooth drops that melt in your mouth. So it seems like it's gonna be more of like a root beer float sort of a flavor. And it is. It's delicious. My only complaint is that it's a little big. It is big, but I think they're normally this size. I actually have a fun story about root beer barrel candies. I feel like kids don't really do it as much in school, at least in the school that we work in. But like, remember dioramas? Yeah. So I had to do a diorama of the Boston Tea Party. And you used root beer barrels. And I used root beer barrels. That was my mom's idea. She's a creative one. This is really good. Really, really good. It tastes like a root beer float. Mm -hmm. Speaking of root beer floats. The root beer float is said to have been invented by a man in Colorado who thought that the snow atop Crow Mountain looked like ice cream floating in soda pop. This is the best root beer candy I think I've ever had. It doesn't have that like overly herby medicinal taste. Yeah, it's really, really good. It's not too sweet, but it's like still pretty sweet because it's soda. I think they make this flavor in a candy cane too. I'm pretty sure I've seen the root beer candy canes. This is red velvet mug cake mix from Sweet Logic in Denver, Colorado. This is really cute. Yeah. We have a lot more snacks to try, so we're actually not going to make this mug cake in this video, but follow me on Instagram. We'll do it in an Instagram story. We love mug cakes. Yeah, we went through a big mug cake <laughs> phase of the quarantine. Right at the very beginning of the quarantine, I ordered all the mug cakes I could get my hands on. I love them because you just like mix the packet with water in a mug and stick it in the microwave. And this one's actually dairy free, gluten free keto friendly it only has four grams of net carbs that's actually really cool for a mug cake especially that it's gluten free yeah now we're going back to hammond's this is hammond's sriracha cheddar popcorn i feel like we asked for this we did i did anyway. <laughs> we really love popcorn and we're really kind of in the market for like a craft popcorn subscription box yeah with, there's something with, we just want some good flavored popcorn we've been having so much seasonal bad popcorn it's like squeaky yeah. It's a dense kernel, but there's a lot of flavor. That cheddar is super strong. But it's not the typical like nacho cheese flavor that's on everything. The cheddar reminds me of something. I can't put my finger on it though. I don't know. But I like it. And it's actually pretty spicy. But it's not too bad. Like I don't really like spicy food that much. It's just a light heat, honestly. Like it's definitely there and it's coating like my entire mouth, but it's not so intensely spicy. Yeah. Like you can still taste the thing. Oh yeah, well there's so much flavor. How can you not taste it? I like this a lot. Yeah, it's actually really, really good. I'm sure they make other flavors and I would totally be interested in trying others. Mm -hmm. We really like popcorn though. 
and I definitely appreciate such a savory snack after all those oh, sweets. Yeah. We're gonna keep it savory with On Tap Kitchen Pretzels from Erie, Colorado, honey mustard flavor. This looks so good. Yeah, I've been looking forward to these since we emptied the box. That's so good. Mm -hmm. It's like a pretzel crouton. It's way better than any like store-bought flavored pretzel that you can get. Yeah, I can really just think of Snyder's right now. It's just a totally different experience. The Snyder's are like really hard. Yeah. And these are like hard, but they're like crisp and like... Light. Light. Really good. And the flavor is super good. You can still taste pretzel. I'm gonna eat that whole bag. <laughs> that was really, really good. That was great. That was one of the better things I think we've ever had out of a snack box. I like that a lot. Yeah, I think I would be interested in looking into that company to see if they have any other flavors or they any must. other things. That was really good. It's very rare that like I eat one of these snacks and immediately I just want more. Mm -hmm. Like immediately. Yeah. Normally honey mustard things are like way too much honey mustard yeah like it's just too flavorful i like that they dialed it back yeah they really let the pretzel shine next up we actually have an extra snack this is almond toffee from enstrom toffee and confectionery in grand junction colorado so this is almond toffee in milk chocolate it doesn't really taste like it but it really kind of reminds me of a butterfinger the texture the texture yeah but with like way thicker chocolate that adds like almost a nice chewiness. The flavor though is so good. I love almond toffee and this is just like up to par with all the other really good almond toffees I've ever had. Yeah, really nice milk chocolate. But you're right, the texture is like a Butterfinger. Like it's not as hard as I was expecting it to be, but it did taste so, so good. I That's would go really back good. for more of that Me one. Me too. Up next we have a chocolate lollipop from Animus Chocolate Company. I really love the little images of the gingerbread men yeah. on there. That's really cute. Just seems like a milk chocolate. Yeah. Just a very sweet milk chocolate. The flavor of it reminds me of Gertrude Hawk. Yeah. If you're familiar, it's just a smooth chocolate. It's not as creamy as I was worried it might be. Like it almost had a little bit of like that waxy feel to it, almost similar to Hershey's in mm. texture. Yeah. But I didn't mind it and That's not okay. too incredibly sweet. I prefer my chocolate dark. And I don't prefer chocolate if you're new here, so not bad. These are green chili Colorado style chips from Morgan Homemade Rations in Denver, Colorado. These look weird. Yeah, these are some crazy looking chips. They kind of look kettle cooked. Yeah, but like, you can see through them. That's delicious. It is. Way more flavor than I expected from the smell. It almost has like a crispy noodle fried wonton kind of thing going on. You're not wrong. Like, it's just so crisp and bubbly that it just, like, shatters yeah. as you chew it. It's really good. It's really good. It's really different than, like, a regular potato chip, but then also really different from a kettle cooked chip. Yeah. That's really good. The flavor isn't as intense as I was hoping for, but I was yeah. also thinking that maybe green chili was going to be spicy. I'm not getting any spice. No, if anything, it. it's, like, a little sweet. I really like it, though. Me, too. That is good. That's two really good savory snacks. Colorado is doing it right. Yeah. Also from Enstrom Toffee and Confectionery, we have Almond Toffee in Dark Chocolate. I'm really excited for this. I don't think I've ever had Almond Toffee with Dark Chocolate before. It's a totally different experience. It really is. I think I prefer the milk, but this is nice too. It's like a little bit bitter. That's yeah, all. it's like a really dark chocolate. Mm -hmm. It cuts back on the sweetness. Yeah, it almost gives it like a roasty kind of taste. I like that a lot. That's a good one. Yeah. Up next, we have Bobo's Gingerbread Oat Bar from Boulder, Colorado. Smells good. Oh, it does smell really good. I love oatmeal. I haven't talked about it that much on this channel, but I'm always in the market for something exactly like this. Because I like to have like a granola bar, like a bar sort of thing, but I want one that just tastes like a bowl of oatmeal. And you can't really find that. This might be it. Fun fact, when I worked at ShopRite, I ate these all the time. Huh. Because when you only have a 15 minute break and you're hungry, this is like a lot of calories and fills you up for a long time. It smells great like gingerbread. I've never seen these before, but I want to keep an eye out for them. They're in like the healthy section of the shop right with all like the bars. It <laughs> really tastes like I just had a spoonful of oatmeal. Yeah. It even left that weird creamy feeling in your mouth. This is so good. I mean like it's all oats. It's good, yeah. Not too sweet. Does it come in other flavors? Yeah, I think the flavor I would always get was like apple cinnamon. That's what I would pick. Yeah, that's really good. This is good though. The gingerbread flavor is great. Yeah. So it's certified gluten-free, non-GMO. <clears throat> this is delicious. It's not being marketed as something that's like healthy. Like I was thinking- No, like it's just like natural. A protein thing. It's not. It's just healthier than probably those like chewy Quaker oh, yeah. bars. This is exactly what I've been in the market for. I love this. I am going to go find more of these. I love this. 
Shout out to USA Snacks for bringing this into my life. Uh, see, I wouldn't think you'd like something like that because you don't like grainy bread. Yeah, it's really strange. I don't. Yeah, I it don't, is. I don't like it when there's like seeds and stuff in bread, but I just love oatmeal. I love a bowl of oatmeal. And when I have a granola bar, I just want it to be oats and not all those like nuts and things and... I don't know, I don't mind the chewy, like sweet and salty Nature Valley bars, but they don't taste like oatmeal and I just want mm. one that tastes like oatmeal. And there you have it. That's all. The Annie's chewy granola bars are like mostly oats, but... I still prefer that though. They're really, really sweet. I think those are like mostly for kids, which mm. is fine, but I want something that's less sweet. This is less sweet. This yeah. is perfect. This is exactly what I've been in the market for. Up next we have another chocolate bar from Animus Chocolate Company. This one looks dark chocolate. Oh yeah, it's dark. I really like the little image on this one too. It tastes like the chocolate chips that I use when I make pancakes. I prefer it to the milk chocolate. Me too. It's crisper because it's dark. It's not as creamy. Yeah. And I just like that better. I mean, what else can you say? It's just dark chocolate. Yeah. It's cute. It is cute. It's very cute. You're very cute. From Westminster, Colorado, we have Old Man Granola Cranberry Pecan. Speaking of granola, we have granola. This is fun. Yeah, I'm a fan of cranberry in my granola. Yeah. I like that granola. I do too. I wish there was a little more cranberry. I had a big piece of cranberry. I only had one little so piece. So tart, really good. Yeah, a nice vanilla flavor. Not like really sweet though, just good. Yeah, really good. That would be great on yogurt. Or on ice cream. Or on a fruit bowl. Yeah, I don't have anything bad to say about that. I like the oh. ratio of things. And it wasn't too hard. Yeah. It Like a softer granola. That's another good point. Usually granola like is really hard. It hurts your teeth and cuts up your mouth. Who wants that in the morning? Sometimes it amazes me how much we can talk about some things. <laughs> Granola. <laughs> this is a Honey Bunchies Peanut Pecan Honey Bar from Longmont, Colorado. It smells like honey. It really, like when they say honey bar, they really mean it's just like honey. <laughs> it's really good. Mm. It mostly tastes of honey. I got like a strong salt though in the beginning, I guess yeah. from the nuts. And it has a nice roasty taste from the nuts. Yeah. That really goes well with the honey. It's a fun texture. I mean, it's like a soft, soft caramel sort of yeah. texture. But not as sticky. And there's just like chopped up nuts in there. Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah, it's really different. Better than I thought it would be, for sure. And finally, we have more Old Man Granola. This one's Chocolate Nut. Still pretty good. Yeah, really good. I definitely prefer the cranberry. I do too, but they're both really good. Like the cranberry one is just a fresher flavor because it's fruit. This really reminds me of a chewy bar but less sweet. Yeah, it's hardly sweet at all. Maybe a little tiny sweetness from the chocolate, mm -hmm. but it's really good. It's a nice balance. Great on its own, just like the other one, but again, it would be really great on ice cream, really great on yogurt. I don't know what else you put granola on, but it's good on its own. I like the little shape of the packaging. Open that up and like shake it into your mouth if you were on the go or something. Yeah. So that's it. That's it. We forgot to mention that I guessed the state this oh, month. Oh, oh my goodness. The USA Snacks box is a surprise what state it's going to be until yeah. you get it and you open it up. I mean, everyone gets the same state. You don't know what it's going to no. be until you get it. So when we got the box in the mail, I said, all right, what do you think it's going to be? You said, oh, Christmas. It's going to be like a Christmas state. But like, what the heck is a Christmas state? And then he said, it's going to be Colorado. And then I was trying to think of a state that's like, where's all the Hallmark movies filmed? And I couldn't really think of any. I haven't seen Toronto. any. Toronto. <laughs> right. I think they're all filmed in Canada. <laughs> And so I said Maine because I was thinking like northern east coast and then I opened it up and it said Colorado. I couldn't believe it. Chris guessed what state this month was going to be. That was funny. I would not have guessed that the snacks in this box were going to be this good. No. These were like some of the best. I mean like they are usually good snacks but like these were seriously some of the best snacks we've ever had in a subscription box. There are so many that we are now going to go look up. Chris has already been looking up the pretzels. He's ready to order like a variety pack of them. Oh yeah. This was a fun box. It really was. It's always fun, but I think it's just a different experience than yeah. the international snacks because there are already flavors that like you're used to. There's there are flavors that are available in the country that you're from if you're from America. I know that a lot of our viewers are not from America, but we're from America. Yeah. We've never been to Colorado. We've never been to any of the states that the boxes that we have had from USA Snacks are from yet so far. So it's just a really fun experience, but the flavors are not too out there. No. So we can go into this and knowing that we're probably going to like everything and then it's just a bonus if we love it. Mm -hmm. Sometimes with the international snacks, like, we might really not like it. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already so you don't miss any of our other subscription box videos. And follow us on Twitter and Instagram and like us on Facebook. Those links are down below.